some sort of jubilee. Today is Labor Day, September 7th, 2020, and it's approximately 7 a.m. We're in Montrose, Alabama, on the eastern shore of Mobile Bay, engaged with a natural, extraordinary phenomenon called a jubilee. From our observations, the jubilee stretched out about a half a mile or so north from Stedman's Landing. Labor Day, we have ourselves a little jubilee. It's a little baby cat. And all kinds of shrimp down in here. And this little guy I feel kind of bad for though, stingray. Birds are totally making out on this jubilee. Jubilees on the eastern shore of Mobile Bay have been recorded all the way down to Mullet Point, which is about 15 miles away. We don't actually know how far this one went as we didn't see much occurring past Deadman's Landing or the Sibley Public Entrance. In fact, we noticed so little there that we hopped on our paddle boards and headed north where we heard reports of big flounder. A jubilee can only happen if very specific conditions exist. Basically, they occur only in the summer, usually before sunrise. The days before the jubilee, the weather conditions must include an overcast or cloudy day, a gentle wind from the east, and a calm and slick bay surface. It's really cool, but it's really sad. Also, a rising tide is necessary, and any changes can stop the jubilee. It takes a combination of all of these conditions to produce this extraordinary phenomena. Jubilees are caused primarily by upwellings in which oxygen-poor bottom water forces bottom-type fish and crustaceans ashore. This happens due to shifts in salty water layering when the bay is calm and stagnant. The stagnation is caused by salinity stratification or the layering effect, with the heavy salty gulf water below the light fresh river water. Stratification or layering prevents movement of oxygen from the air into the bottom salty water. These deep layers form deep water pockets and they tend to collect plant matter washed into the bay from the marshes and swamps upstream. Dots are catfish whiskers. As the plant matter decomposes, it provides food for the microorganisms in the water. An abundant food supply combined with the warm water temperatures causes a population explosion. There's a little flounder. Just looking for big ones. As these microorganisms grow and multiply, they consume tremendous quantities of oxygen. This takes away even more oxygen from the bottom water in the deep pockets. Due to the lack of oxygen, these jubilee affected fish and shellfish cannot carry out normal muscular activities such as swimming. They move slowly and seem reluctant to swim, even to escape capture. Many creatures die during jubilees, some from the oxygen depletion and some caught by jubilee enthusiasts, which even include birds. Many believe jubilees of this magnitude occur only in two places in the whole world. Tokyo Bay in Japan, and here in the United States in Mobile Bay, Alabama.
Much of the narrative in this video was provided by the Auburn University Marine Extension and Research Center. War Eagle, hey! Yes, there's a really good reason why we have jubilees in the summer. Can you guess what it is? If you guess that we have jubilees in the summertime because the water is warmer, you're absolutely right, because warm water holds less oxygen than cold water, thus depleting the oxygen levels even more. Uh, it's sad. I don't know, it's sad to me, but yeah. Every little section of the beach is different. And this is definitely a jelly jubilee. Lots of stinging nettles. I didn't go in there with my boots. Just endless. And some moon jellies. Lots of stingers. I'm gasping. Beautiful moon jelly. Hope you learned a little bit and enjoyed the sights and sounds of Mobile Bay during a Jubilee. Listen to him. The chosen music comes from Chris Fees on the Keys, who is a renowned musician, but local to the Gulf Coast. Thanks, Chris.